in Iran. So I know it's very strange that I'm filming on the street. I'm actually in Paris right now for the holidays. See more pictures I took here. Make sure to follow me on my Snapchat, Instagram, and Twitter, and you will be always notified. Anyways, in today's video, I'll be showing you some different DIY organizations slash decoration ideas for your desk, and the fun thing is that it's also a collab with one of my really good friends here on YouTube, Catherine Elizabeth. She'll also show you some different DIY ideas for your desk, so to see her video, make sure to follow the link in the description. to both our channels to see more videos like this. So that's everything I wanted to say and without further ado, let's just get into this video. One of the things that I find important is having music next to you so that you have more motivation to do something. And I recently found out that if you click on radio on iTunes, you can listen to some new songs for free, which is great. Before you actually start organizing your desk, make sure it's clean so that there is no dust or anything like that. And I just used some wet wipes for that. If you have a computer, make sure to clean the keyboard as well because that's one of the things that you use the most. Oh, and speaking of your keyboard, I actually found a really cool way to decorate it on Pinterest. And you just need some washi tape for this. My happy little pill. So you can choose a variety of different washi tapes and then measure the exact size you want to cut out and stick it on the thing you want to stick it on, which is very easy. Another thing you have to remember is not to put too many things on your desk because personally it makes me very unorganized and I don't know where my stuff is, so I really recommend you to put as less things as you can. So for example, on one side of my desk, I put a book, a glass donut, a pink dream sign, and on the other side, I put a pencil holder with sticky notes and other important essentials. And to add into this white theme, I added a boxed water and a Polaroid camera, just for decoration. And next to my computer, I put this frame, and if you've seen my videos before, you probably recognize it. It's like a whiteboard, but it's not really a whiteboard, but it's really cool for uh, writing down your to-do list or anything like that that you can't forget. If you love me right, we fuck for life. And because I'm so lazy to sharpen my pencils, I just decided to get this automatic sharpener and put it on my desk right beside the whiteboard thing. And of course, not to forget about my phone, which I have to have next to me like 24-7, I just decided to put it on this phone holder, which I actually made at school, if you're wondering. <music> So that's my finished decorated desk, and I think it's a lot better now than it was before. And now, as I promised, you will see one of the DIYs I wanted to share with you, which I actually showed in my last video last year. It sadly got deleted by YouTube for some complications, so I just decided to show it to you in this video again. This first thing you can make for your desk is this book holder, and if you eat cereals in the morning like I do, then you can just use your cereal box following the steps that I'm showing you. I better look back carefully, cause this is trouble. So basically what you need to do is just draw the shape of the book holder you want to cut out and then using scissors just cut it out making sure everything is neat. And then I just wrapped it around with some wrapping paper and you can choose any wrapping paper of your own choice with any designs you want. <laughs> watching it. Also make sure to subscribe to both our channels to see more videos like this. And also if you have any questions about any of these DIYs, make sure to comment them down below. And I'll see you very soon. Bye!